perspective walking us through your journey as a you know to Tuscaloosa and now coming back to Fort Ross, a place that recruited you out of high school? Right, right. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely been a journey. Um, I don't regret going to Tuscaloosa. You know, I learned a lot both on and off the field. Uh, my sister goes there, so it was really comfortable for me. Um, but you know, when it came down to it, I had to do what was best for me, what was best for my career collegiately, and um, I wanted to, you know, see what my options were. And I called Oregon State, and they said, you know, it's still open, still an open opportunity. So I jumped on it. I, you know, came out. Obviously, I, I wanted to come out in the in January for the winter term, but they said, no, you missed a week, so you got to come come in spring. And so I just kind of hung with my parents for about three months, which was exciting. So. Is that sarcasm? Exactly? Yes, yes, it was very boring. It was extremely boring. Uh, I'm going to come a little closer. You're good, though. Uh, so you said, you, know, you talked about not having any regrets, and not that I figured you, you would, but what did that year, uh, playing in that program, what did you learn that is kind of going to stick with you and you feel is going to make you a better player here now at Oregon State? Right, right. Well, I mean, just the atmosphere of all the games is so huge, you know, Playing in front of 100,000 people every week, you know, I got to, I got to be right, right under AJ the whole year. You know, he's a great mentor. He taught me a lot. But I would say mostly just the atmosphere of the SEC. You know, the games are so big, the stakes are so high, guys are so athletic and so fast that, you know, you're not kind of in awe, you know, of anything after that. So it really helped sort of mentally more than anything. I was gonna say, do you? How big is it just being in that culture, that culture of winning where it's expected to win? Do you feel like that's something that you can impress on this program? That's absolutely. To get there? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And they're, they're doing it already. You know, the offense met today. We weren't happy with the practice. Um, you know, I didn't have a great practice, but, you know, we just said, get in your books. you got to learn. you got to do better. You can't come out and just go through the motions. You're not going to get better that way. But especially, you know, in the spring, everybody's trying to learn, but you need to do it fast. It's not, you know, you're going to be patient with people. And they're going to be patient with me because I'm new, but there's still a demand that you need to produce. Um, so, Coming back here, is it was it kind of funny that this is the, when you surveyed your options that this was the place you ended back up? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. You know, they they showed me the most love in recruiting by far. You know, they they were calling me. I loved talking to Coach Langs and Coach Riley. And um, when I heard that Coach Langs was going to New York, you know, I was happy for him, but I was wondering who they're going to hire, and they hired Coach Garrett, which I was – extremely happy about you know I, I've met his brother coach John Garrett in Dallas a couple times and it's such a great family they're, they're such a, a nice group of people and they're such good coaches so it's uh it's been a good process now uh, this system that's something that everybody talks about especially on offense is learning it how it takes some time how has your learning curve been so far are you getting the hang of it or is it taking some more time than you maybe hoped uh, it's it's tough. It's a tough offense. You know, it's very multiple. There's a lot of motions. There's a lot of shifts. There's different formations. You know, the way that they word things is a little bit different. Um, but, you know, it's coming along good. It's coming along good. I asked Mike if you look any different, better from when he uh, watched your tape in high school as a recruit. And he says you're about 30 pounds heavier. Yeah, yeah. I went into Alabama at 185 and they said you need to eat. You need to eat whatever you can. And I was like, okay, well, what do you want me to weigh? They said, we'll tell you when to stop. And so I, I got to 205, and they were like, no, I'm bigger. We need you bigger. So through the summer program, and then fall camp came, and I was 216, which is what I am right now. So, it, you know, they they know how to feed you down there, and they know how to feed you up here, that's for sure. Is there a target weight that you want to play at? Uh, about 215, 220, yeah. Okay. I was, uh, oh, boom, he's making the move over to DN from wide receiver, and he said he's on the seafood diet. You see food, yeah. and you eat it. Is that, are you still on that? Or now no, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on regular, it. regular diet, so. Um, let's see, last one for you. Uh, you talked about Coach Fierre, and he, people praise his detail, yeah. how detail-oriented he is. Have you noticed that, and how, has he taught you a lot? Oh, absolutely. Couple weeks of spring. Absolutely. Taking notes, how to take notes, how to watch film. He's very detail oriented. He's very serious, but you know, it's not to the point where you can't relax. Um, you know, he keeps it light. He'll, he'll have something new every day in the meetings to sort of lighten the mood. But um, no, he's very, very detail oriented, and you have to be if you right. want to be good. Now, uh, Mike says no update on your status. Do you have a, a, a time to do they tell this you? This week. This find week out this find week. Out. Yep. What day? I don't know. They just said sometime this week, most are you likely. Hopeful or what are your, what's your, what's I'm your hopeful. Are you? I'm hopeful. I was hopeful from the beginning, and so far it's 
you know, been pretty good. Usually the circumstances that they get people on haven't really applied to me, so they'd have to pull out something else or not really agree with what I was saying, so. And that's got to feel good, because I imagine you feel like you're a guy who could come in right away and have an impact. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, I feel like I I proved myself at Alabama, being going in as seventh and being the backup the whole year, the emergency backup, but the backup, and, um, you know, I'm ready to compete.